You know, 18-year-old Aaron Crawford was known to stop what he was doing at any time and pray with a friend or try to help them out. He um, never met a stranger. Aaron tragically died over the weekend on August 5th. He uh, fell ill while he was actually helping flood victims. And Evening Edition's Michael Burke has more about this special young man from Perry County. He was our baby and he acted and was treated that way. A part of Rachel Crawford was lost three days ago. When we asked him why he wanted to help so much, he said, because that's what God would want me to do. He said, I have the strength to help people um, and God gave me that strength and I want to use it. Aaron Mick Crawford ran to help friends in need after the flooding in eastern Kentucky. He lived not far from the hardest areas and went to high school in Knott County where he played football. But three days into lending a hand, something just didn't feel right. He had been lifting weights and stuff for football, um, so we thought maybe he just pulled a muscle or something. And he said his arms felt weird. And then um, as he got worse and worse, he started saying, well, I can't breathe, my heart feels funny. CPR didn't help after he stopped breathing at home. Aaron was airlifted to UK hospital where he was intubated. His heart remained in good condition, but his brain function was lost. They did so many tests trying to see if his brain had any function and they said that he didn't have any. Um, so he, the doctors pronounced him clinically and legally dead. The sheriff in this county calls him a hero. Today, after the hero's walk he received for donating organs, law enforcement gave him a procession back to Perry County. Aaron will be laid to rest soon, but parts of this gentle giant, as he's called, will live on. So it turns out that part Rachel lost may not be gone forever. I would absolutely love to meet them because one of them is getting his heart um, and I want to listen to his heart again because that was my favorite part of him. In Perry County, Michael Burke for Evening Edition.